What's good everybody? Today is Friday, April 21st. And today I'm working. Um, so, I'm working on a tech pack, but this tech pack is a little different because it's not for me. Um, what I'm doing is I'm starting a fashion design creative consultancy company and I actually have my first client. So my client asked for a bikini and I'm putting together a tech pack for them. So really excited to, you know, step into this new level of fashion design, fashion creativity, what have you. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, I feel the need to document and share with y'all what I got going on. Bring y'all along the journey with me, so. Driver, open the door for me, my hand hurt. Birthday boy. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Calling to get lost, service. <laughs> How you feel, bro? 24 today. I feel old. You feel old? But I feel focused, model mentality, you know? Nice, nice. Drop some wisdom for your, for hey. your first day at 24. 23, it was all about setting new heights, goat year. 24, it's all about mama mentality. Gotta stay nice. focused on the prize. Nice. One scramble leg. Nice. Yes. Toast? <laughs> My guy Kyle, happy to celebrate you. Happy birthday, man. 24, Cheers. coming up. Cheers, yes sir. Yeah. No, this nigga, he's the artist. Oh, oh. Okay, he literally popped out there, he had a girl out there that he was fucking with. Oh, okay. And he's like, yo. Oh, yeah, you got crazy. They look good as freaking hell. Oh, <laughs> What's good, everybody? Today is April 30th, 2023. And today's the very first. Is this official or unofficial? It's unofficial, right? It's official as you want it to be. Okay, this is our very first official tribe hackathon. What is a hackathon, you ask? Well, a hackathon is where we all gather in a central location and work as hard as we can to accomplish a single goal. And today, what is that goal? Making the V2 world. Nice. So, we're going to be two world today. Um, world building from character design to world design. Um, right now, gathering some assets to actually make the world. Once Drew gets here, we're going to be working on the character design. Um, got the world builder right here, Kill. I'm just creative directing since it's my world. Then we also have an extra creative director right here, Chris. So yeah, super excited to see this world be put together. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. Charismatic things like that, and then have those around. Want appetit? And I want to have somebody else go. Little baby shop. Yes, sir. Taco Tuesday in the crib. Taco Tuesday. Let me get on this side. Close cookie action after. Oh, Nick again? You got cookies? Yeah, bro. Ah, look at this guy, bro. Wait a minute. Strawberry <laughs> milk. Damn, I get it. Who are you, and what did you do to Julian? Jeez. Hey man, I told you. Uh, what I said earlier? It's gonna be a new week. 
I just woke up and I was just like, it's the day where things change. Nice. <laughs> nice. Simple as that. Nice. Just make that shit happen. I like it. I like that. Hello. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is today's Tuesday, June thirteenth. And as you can see I'm listening to Frank Ocean. DHL. Because because we got three packs in today. And I'm about to open them up. Explain to you guys what's going on here. And yeah. All right, first up. I think I know what these are. Let's just get these out of the way. Because. Ugh, I don't even want to open these for real. Yeah, these are ugly. I didn't even look at them all the way. These are really ugly. But, oh my gosh. They did not do these any justice. <laughs> but yeah. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the the idea, the vision behind these. But these not hidden. I don't even want to put these on. <laughs> but yeah, they definitely did not get the vision at all. I tried to explain to them the fabrics that I wanted, how I wanted it to look, and it just not come out. It yeah. Bro, I can see you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I'm glad that one was first because I got some real heat in here that I think I'm gonna really like. It's, it's solid, let's see, let's see. The zippers are very nice. I like the zippers. It's double zip, right? But the art is just, it's too high. They did that wrong they didn't get that right but peep the tag though new logo but yeah this one's cool but they just missed the mark plus i'm going a different direction with those anyway last pack Okay, so this was the vision. Let me back up a little bit. This was the vision, right? You got your military military fabric, polyester vibe up top, right? And then your cotton on the bottom. So it's a little bit of a two-tone going on. Um, this looks good. So far what I'm seeing, I'm just gonna like check out pockets nice and roomy. Back pockets as well. So got cargo pockets on the side, a little embroidery action there. These look, these look good. Like I like these. Yeah, overall, I say this is a pretty good first, first round. We still got some improvements to make, but we're in the right track. Okay. Everyone on the vlog, say hello to Gojo. This is the newest tribe member. Say hi. He's focused on other things right now. But, yes, welcome back to the vlog, everyone. Today, we will be opening some new samples. Okay, so I want to do like three to four different styles or colorways for these new hats. But she ain't set me up for, for success the way that everything came out. But we'll see how they look in person now. All right, so here's the first sample. It's supposed to be like a burgundy color, but you, can, you can't even tell on camera, but it's like a very like magenta cranberry color. It looks really nice, but it's just not the color of this, of this season. So I'm gonna have to make some adjustments. Orange underbrim. Yeah, it's cool, but not what I'm looking for. Also, new logo, new logo. Now this color is really nice. Olive looks great. Oh, that's hot. 
Got that kiwi green underbrim. This one's gonna be a banger for sure. New tag, of course. And then this is the newest one that I'm working on. So it's supposed to be like a, like a nice chocolate brown, but it's more like milk chocolate. But it's unstructured. So as you can see, you can kind of, you know what I'm saying? It's going for that like little Travis Scott vibe. So I kind of like this, but I don't like the color. So we'll figure something out. Still too tight. <laughs> Dang, got a big old head. <laughs> Don't put it on the last one. No way. Good job, calm though. It's not bad. Yeah, it looks it looks cool. It's different, but I do think that like that dark chocolate brown yeah. would really sell it. Getting into the. I mean, like, it was like a pants. For it, but this is what I love to see too. Probably. I love these. So he sent me the fabric swatches that came with this fabric so I'm definitely doing like a bunch of colorways with these so shout out to my guy yeah. oh yeah this is really cool all right for sure all right let's get into the pants so I'm not too big of a fan of the colorway of this first color but it looks a lot better in person than it did in pictures, which I'm happy about. This, so this is the second version. We changed some of the zippers, we made them plastic instead of metal. We added some reinforced hardware. Well, it doesn't look like he did, but he was supposed to. Um, yeah, I mean, I think these look pretty cool. We'll try them on, see how they fit, and then go from there. We went with a, with a lighter. We went with the lighter GSM on the on the cotton. And I don't really know how, how I feel about it because it feels like like cheaper low key. I guess because it is, but I might have to switch that back up. But overall I like how this feels. But yeah, I think I'm waiting on like, like three more samples. And then should be cooking with fire. Oh yeah, how could I forget? Baby. No. What's good everybody? Today is July 21st. And just checking in man. I haven't really been in the mood to vlog just because I've just been working on literally six different things at once. But um, I just want to come here and give y'all an update and show y'all, I guess, a little bit about what I got going on. Um, fall is coming along very, very nicely, I must say. Um, we've got samples on their way. We've got some samples coming in today that I'll show y'all, of course. And what else is new? Um, Love Soldier Studios is doing super well. I know I haven't really talked much about that on any vlog really, but if you guys don't know, that's my fashion design consulting business. We do anything from tech packs, garment creation, uh, conceptualizing your collections, anything fashion related that you need help with. Hit us up if you need that. And, um, yeah man, Trapper Studios going up. Just a lot of things moving, a lot of things going on in the works. My hair is growing too. But yeah man, I'm just excited man. Excited to show y'all what's what's going on. Um I've set some pretty ambitious goals for this fall, I'm not gonna lie, but you know, that's what that's what it's all about, is pushing ourselves, getting to that next level and um rinsing and repeating, starting over once again with the knowledge and experience that we have. So I can't even like really put into words how I'm feeling right now, but I'm just excited. I'm, I'm motivated. I'm tired, but we getting there, y'all. We getting there. We getting there. We getting there. What's good, everybody? Today's August, uh, August 5th, and my boy Jamal, Akoto Works, y'all seen him in the Tribe Market vlog. He is throwing his pop-up shop today called Connecting the Dots. 
So me and the tribe about to hop in the car, head to DC and show some love, pull up, cop some pieces and yeah. Calm. Made it to DC. Got the Kodo scarf on. Yo, we back in DC. What the fuck? Mm. Mm. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, oh, hey, he's freaking out. You come out, right? Oh, my guy, my guy, hey. Yeah. yeah. Are you right here? Oh! <laughs> it's the boy. Oh, my guy. What's up, Wishing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you I'm lit. It came together. It yeah. Worked. Yeah. How you doing? We locked in now. Right? We're yeah. locked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to go lock in some food. You know it cold. <laughs> you know it cold. Damn. That shit really broke. I'm glad it landed in this stuff. Man of the hour. Man of the hour. What it do? What it do? Koto pop up going on, you know what I'm saying, man? Wait, the camera around, man. Look at this. Look at this, look at this. Really yes, sir. Yes, sir. They got to read. I'm spilling water. I'm not. That's water. They got to read. Yeah. They got to. Yeah. 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 Got to talk about the beast, though. Yeah. Little way, who the five star chick ass? What do you think? I can just see. Let me see. Toss is the purple and the last one to be a smaller. Be a smaller and the color is different. I'm about to grab it in a second. Oh, no. This one is crazy. This one's like, it's not quite a dark brown, but it's like, but it is. This one, oh. I like this one a lot. Hold on. And then this one looks hard. I seen a recent, oh not recent. Let me show you what color that is. I seen of like that recently. This is this looks like really good. What's going on YouTube? The AGZ on the on the body. See the car goes though. All he doing is creeping. That's nuts, bro. What you got in the pockets though? In my pockets. A little Cartier. <laughs> A little Batman, Mandalorian right. action, you know. 
Yeah. That's fine. Real calm, real calm. How about friends and family shit though? Mm-hmm. We're coming soon. All right. Hey, bro, don't get the address in there, bro. Come on, tighten up. <laughs> Appreciate it. Look at Kill in there. Is it Gojo in there? Everybody's in there, bro. This is less brush. This is actually an entirely different Man, that looks great. It feels heavier, too. Whoa. I like the other lavender one. I feel like it has more colors and it's like, Same. you know what I mean? That just looks like color blocks, like lavender and red berries. Is that not what he's going for? Nah, for that one, collection? like look at that one. That one looks more berry, cotton candy berry. This, berry. One, feels, this one feels better too. That's lavender, that one's... No, nah, no, nah, you, gotta, you gotta hold this, bro. Mm -hmm. It feels very luxurious. This one's it's not as luxurious. I think you. Oh dang, dang! dang. This feels like exactly. cashmere. Exactly. <laughs> this feels like cashmere. It, it feels. It feels like butter. You said that like baby drum. It's what like cashmere. I would say. Can you do that with? Do what? Can you do that with this one? What are you? What, what are you talking about? Like the uh, weight. The feel. That one's no, like different. That one's one. like buttery, but this one has a nice <laughs> like print color or whatever. It's yeah, not so a print, but they, this manufacturer doesn't have that. Do they? No, no, they don't. But yeah, this is also a different material. I like that. I like the original one better. That one feels like better construction, though. But I mean, that's not like bad construction. What do you think, Gojo? You don't care. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my showroom. <laughs> so, we got some of the pieces in. This is like 80% of the samples, I wanna say. And um, we're just gonna have a quick like little fit session, check some things out. See what should stay, what should go, what should be emphasized, what should be uh, deleted. But um, yeah, like I said, we're still waiting on a couple more samples to come in, but that's what it's looking like so far. Yeah, I'll put these yeah, I want to see, see them separated. For sure. Based on how it fits me. Medium. Yeah. I said medium. Cause it's it's supposed to be crop, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Medium. Use these pieces and make cohesive unless like Yeah, take them off the take them off the rack. Strip. Yeah. I mean if you strip this and these out and this, then you could say it's cohesive because everything is two toned. It, the collection, it's 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 like two in one. Like he's doing like a ready to wear and not couture, but um, you have to say like couture or cut and sew. So this is two collections put in the one that has some like similar motifs, but this is just an elevated version of this. These are garments, pieces. These are like your everyday wear. This is what you would get from. Like if he was to open up a storefront right now, he'd have all this for people to come in and buy. And this is, you gotta, I gotta take your measurements and we gonna make it fit you right. These, these still feel like incomplete thoughts. I feel like, I feel like they're incomplete thoughts only because they're not finished products yet. Well, yeah, that's it. Yes, yeah. But I feel like that he's there. It's just that mm -hmm. they messed it up low key. Where like with the pants, they messed up the pants. I think if the pants hit, like if they were the right size, 
He'd be like, okay, we just gotta, I, the only thing I gotta figure out is buttons or zipper. So I think this is a, I think, I think it's a complete thought. I just think that's not a com like, on the manufacturer part, it wasn't done to like, the highest standard. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I'm just gonna like, drop it, see what happens, and put the visuals together. Like, I already got the photographer, um, models, y'all know who, who's modeling for me, so the vision is coming together. Even the rebrand, this is, I think this is a perfect collection for the rebrand, because it kind of like, it's different from my old stuff, but at the same time, it's like, it's new, it's fresh, mm -hmm. so, um, I think this is this is cooking up to be something like great, you know. Actually, all right, everybody. Let me let me, let me, let me try to make it look. Kind you guys get a very exclusive behind the scenes look. Nah, this is hard. This is hard. This Dude, you got You got to put it on. It's kind of hard. Put it on. Like, it, bro. like when you wait, wait. When you go like this a little bit, yeah. And if, you let if it, you clean it, it up, you clean it up. It, it look up, hard. It look like, dummy hard. But if and you got to clean up this a little bit too. So we're deciding between the materials of these two different sweaters. It's the same, the same cut, same colors almost. This one just is a solid color. This one has like a blend of a few different colors. But um, this just looks my fault. I was trying to see. Right don't here. don't compare. If Julian don't got clothes on, he don't got it on. Nah, that's yeah. why I said like, <laughs> focus on the sweater. But we should take the shirt off. No, yeah, bro, no, no, it's not just focus on the sweater. You gotta focus on how it's put on, bro. We getting there at least. So let me uh. Yeah, but I gotta go back on all these filters and kind of like redo a little bit, so we have some content for them and shit. And uh, I pretty much only got in product shots. What do you mean by that? Not redo them, but like do like act like I'm doing some of the parts over again, so mm -hmm. I can just record it. Yeah. You got that? Yeah. He didn't do it the first time. So what y'all seeing on the vlogs and stuff? Fake. Bro, we be working, bro. Like it's, <laughs> bro, it's, it's yeah. hard. It's hard to like focus on this and like always keep the camera on at the same time. Cause sometimes the camera don't need to see everything. This logo, yeah. Like it's like a it's a little higher. Than, like, so the logo, logo probably gonna have to be a little smaller. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I'm They're in the room? That's hard. Super tough. Certificate. Like, All right. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. We go no, this is so cool, you guys. Oh, my yeah, you gotta check out the VR, bro. Yeah, you, yeah, you gotta check it out. Oh. Wait, wait, we need a fit check. Let's get a fit check, y'all. All right, fit check. You already know. I'll start from the top. New Beloved coming out next month. Or by the time y'all see this, it's out. Chain. Wait, what do you mean by that? You mean, I don't know when I'm dropping this. All right, it's probably out. It's probably out. I don't know. Check the site. Link in the bio. Um, chain. Um, y'all probably not gonna get it. Uh, Stripe shirt. Alex Bell, Supreme Underwear. Beloved. Cargos, he's coming out. Little Bottegas on the feet. Little Ajar Tribe Market on the on the wrist. Nice, nice, nice. All right, bitch check. Oh, Beloved Sample Hand. Uh, Tribe Work IT, y'all not getting this. Oh, Ajar, Blue Weather, Ajar, Ajar Tribe. Nice. Yeah. Boom. Boom, boom. <laughs> Uniform. Oh! Bitch check, bitch check. What's the word? Superstar, good to see you. Hey, 
do have something to tell you. Anyways, anyways, y'all see what we're at. Y'all see where we're at. Y'all see the people we're around. I can't wait for them to experience the experience that we created. It's about the color lines. We're about to take this story from here to here. I'm glad that we're here. Love y'all. Let's have a good night. Hey, look around. Come on, look around. Cheers. We did it. Look at this. Shot, direct, shot and directed by my friends here, and produced by my friends. He shot it, she directed it, she produced it. <laughs> for having us here um it's been an amazing journey just getting this stuff going working with you guys has been um, a blessing in its own but um but yeah like they said there's a, a a bit more to the experience today um behind you guys there are some photos and to the left over here in the fitting rooms we have a few vr headsets um and you guys will be able to get a, a deeper glimpse into what anyama has to offer um so how it'll work is with these photos back here um each one has a corresponding qr code you can scan that it'll take you to instagram and then it'll, it'll um, unlock a filter where you'll, the photo will kind of come to life. And then each one has a button where you can scan it. And uh, once you press it, you'll learn a, li a little bit more about the backstory behind the photo. Um, so it's just a, a way to kind of bring you a, a little bit deeper into the photos and learn a little bit more behind how they came to life. Um, and with the, the theater experience as well, um, you'll be able to put the headset on. And the same video that you just watched. Um, you'll be able to watch it in a full 360 immersive environment, um, and mm -hmm. you'll yeah, come to life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Run that back. I'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and yeah, honestly, like you know, with a lot of these things, like once you see it, it's uh, it's one of those things where you just got to see it. I, I don't really got to say too much. Once you experience it, um, you know, it'll speak for itself. So we're definitely excited for you guys to, to be able to be a part of that. Um, and yeah, thank y'all for having us once again. Thank y'all for coming out. You feel me? Um, this is definitely a blessing to be here with y'all. Um, What's your name? <laughs> What's your name? Also, real quick, yeah, let me introduce myself and the team. Um, my name is Akil Cooper. Um, we are Chiver Studios. We all work together, um, kind of mixing creative creativity and technology. Um, basically, we're a creative technology studio um, based in Brooklyn. And we all went to Howard together, became really close friends. And, yeah, now we do work together, so I let them introduce themselves as well. Yeah, my name is Julian Houston. Um, on our team, I serve as the three developer, three D developer, and animator. Um, and yeah, go ahead. Let's I'm see. Kyle. I'm the digital designer. What's good, everybody? My name is Chris. I do three uh, D fashion as well as physical fashion. Give it up for Tron, y'all. <laughs> Hi, 
What's good, family? Um, I feel like it's been a minute since I've recorded like this in front of the camera, you know, like talking to y'all directly, but um, I'm recording because we're about to do a shoot for the fall campaign called For Those Who Find Their Way Back. And yeah, I'm super excited. It's been a, it's been a long journey of samples and creating tech packs and just ideating. So I'm really excited to to take that next step of bringing it to life and getting in front of you guys. So as always, I'm gonna take y'all with me. Take y'all with me. And no more talking. Let's go. This is the initial fit. I like it. <laughs> this, is, this is a really nice like studio too. Wow. Who we working with? What's your name? What's your name? My name is Helen Rose. She called me the baddest bitch on the motherfucking block. You know what I'm saying? Period. <laughs> Let's get to it. Three hours of shooting. I'm tired, I'm hungry. These guys are helping me out, so appreciate y'all. And stay tuned for the final product. Make sure y'all buy some beloved, bro. Um, Alright, let's But yeah, I want to do the even as rest space. I would love to do a setup like this. Um, I want it to be very connected and yeah basically just feel like the platform of your life wait what was your question Chris? Did, did we have did we answer that yeah i just wanted to know like essentially the premise it's a digital digital market right yeah so i mean for a continuation of what we've been doing mm -hmm. but um but yeah this time like like when you buy something it'll be linked on our platform so one thing is like when you come to the event, you, you'll probably just need to have an account for entry. Yeah. Um, so you have to have an account to enter, um, and um, yeah, when you buy something, like it'll be directly linked up. Lead to the cars. All right, let's, let's give you the lead. <laughs> These guys are the cars. Okay. Here's the deal. September 17th, I'm editing some photos right now for the concept. Editing the photos right now for the concept photos that are going on the Instagram. This is tiring, man. This is what I'm doing right now. Just adding a very faint border along the selection. Is it working? Uh, we won't know until we run the glow. <laughs> we won't know till we run the glow. No chance. That's not bad. It really tastes like game. No chance, bro. I just put 20 million inside it. All right, guys. Long day of editing. I think I got some good progress. I'm happy with how these came out. And. Yeah, man. I can't wait for y'all to see this, bruh. It's about to be so sick, bruh. <sighs> p.m. Monday, September 18th. So, me and you are up. Trying to get this lookbook taken care of. So I got a mood board. Going for that extraterrestrial 
outer space kind of look. You know what I'm saying? Thought I'd switch it up from your traditional lookbook. I typically shoot in the studio and bring it into a 3D environment. And um, we trying to figure it out right now. <laughs> but no way about to crash. You better not crash. Yeah. But yeah, this is honestly one of the last things. Mm, I guess we got a couple more things we got to take care of, but this is a big step in getting the collection um, in front of people, in front of eyes. And I really think that this would be a great way to just be unique and show different people what we're capable of making and creating. So, yeah, um, the purpose of me having this lookbook created this way was to, one, introduce people to the world that I'm building, and two, Virgil Abloh had this, this one lecture that said, instead of convincing people of your worth, you should change the environment that your, that your art is being presented in. If I put this candle in an all white gallery space, it looks like a piece of art. If I put it on like in a garage, it looks like a piece of trash. You know, like someone would throw it, throw it away. It's dented. And I think I often use this analogy in design. I could either design the candle and spend a lot of time like telling you about the candle, or I could just design the room and, that it sits in. Yeah. Change your environment that your art is being presented in. So me doing a lookbook this way, I'm able to create my own value, create my own meaning, and um, essentially tell my own story through my own lens. So yeah, stay tuned for the final result. And yeah, hope it comes out fire. I think that's close mm -hmm. from what I see. I think that's pretty close. So I guess we can just like, just, just grab that real quick. Yeah, and then dump it. Honestly, I think I got the wrong paper. It's not bad. Yeah. It's not really like mm -hmm. tacky though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, worst, at the very worst, you just take them. <laughs> yeah, if I was thinking though, I would have did a dynamic link. Mm, no, I think Instagram is fine. Because I got the website on me too. Oh, was this, one, this one was the QR, right? There's only one of them, or was it two? Just that one. Just that one? I thought you, had, I thought you said that one was going to Instagram and one was going to the website. Yeah, no, I think I just put them both Instagram. Today is now Thursday, and I'm going to put the posters up today. As you can see behind me. Wow. So, um, I'm gonna take you out with me. All right, y'all. I'm at the first location, but uh, I'm doing this a little non traditionally. Because I printed out the wrong posters. You're supposed to have a certain type of paper and I just wasn't paying attention, but I don't know. This way saved me a little bit of money and hopefully it looks just the same, if not better. There it is. It's not the uh, the craziest thing, but it's up. <laughs> yeah, I guess yours do look different from the others. Put it low key in over a spot. Oh, 
All right, y'all. So I guess I'm gonna just give y'all some insight on the challenge I'm facing right now. Um, so this current poster, I guess marketing tactic is called wheat pasting. And like I explained before, I don't have the right paper to properly apply it to like a temporary wall like this. And um, the the price is like, I'm thinking it's probably gonna be like $200 for like 50 pages. And that's just not in a budget right now, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I like the way this looks. So it might have to be in a budget, you know what I'm saying? I might have to find a way, like a squirrel or something. I might have to find a way to like make this part of the budget because I think it's just really cool. And I think not even from like a marketing perspective of just like people looking and seeing it and scanning it, but just from like the optics of, of putting my brand out there, you know, just like, wow, look what we did, you know? So, I don't know. If you guys see these all over Brooklyn, then you'll know why. But if this is the only place you see it, just know I tried my best. <laughs> Yo, what's good everybody? Today is September 24th. As you can see, Got the do rag on, got the braids, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, let's. But yeah, um, the drop is officially three days away. Odd Winter is coming out on September 27th, Wednesday, which means that we've got to make sure everything's tightened up in these next couple of days so we can have a successful drop. Um, I will say though, I feel like my marketing has not been performing as I'd like to. Um, as of right now, I've only done organic marketing, which is, you know, posting on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and um, it's been getting good reception, but it's not getting like the reach that I would like to see. So um, without getting discouraged, though, I'm just going to keep posting, keep trying and, um, you know, adjusting as we go and move forward. So, so yeah, I'm about to show you all some behind the scenes of what it would look like for me to make some TikTok content. It's like a little IG reel. Um, I'm keeping it simple today, just like no voice over anything, just music and um, trying some clothes on and then, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Everybody, say hello to my set manager. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, folks. Let's get to business. Let's get to business. All right, Joe. Boom. TikTok is up. Go check it out. So, add oh. an image. Add an image. I was gonna. I guess we were saying the same thing. Where I just wanted that that foreground just be flat right. instead exactly. of like, okay. We're, we're saying the same thing. Yeah. I just... What's up guys? We are currently revisiting this lookbook. Um, I was ready to scrap this idea because we just, uh, we didn't put enough preliminary work in before, before actually executing it but i mean it's still it's still possible to get these things done but it's just gonna take a lot of effort and i don't know we'll see how we what we come up with if that makes sense so that's probably a mix of both moving the camera the camera angle and potentially the, the, the canyon itself but we basically need to tweak that first yeah like even that is already a little better. Did you add, didn't you add a grain to the the render? The first one did. Oh, it then you took it off. Yeah. Fuck, man. Fuck. You got I think it was like here. But yeah, so this is what I did. So yeah, we rendered the background so that the plane 
aligns with the actual photo. I bring I brought in your actual like original photo, like, I, like this one, mm -hmm. and I took the background off again. But I I did that, and then I also added in, like this is from the original photo too, and I just like selected the shadow from the original photo. Okay. Like that's actual the actual shadow. Yeah. And now what you're saying is to add something to like just bring more like cohesiveness and depth to the photo. Yeah. But yeah, you can kind of see here that. It's like adjusting a little. Mm. So I just brought it down a little bit so that it's not as harsh. Damn, we good at this. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Uh, today is 26. Um, pretty much wearing the same clothes as yesterday. Shh. <laughs> but um, as you can tell, that's that's how serious we take this. Man. Um, I have a couple of things left to do before the drop tomorrow at three, but um, for right now we're just gonna shoot some quick flat lay images to post on the website, and then make some last couple website updates and tweaks, and then we should be in business, y'all. It's been it's been a long journey. It's been a frustrating one. It's been a rewarding one, but I'm glad to have just the creative skills to even do something like this, man. So I know that 2017, 2016, Chris would be pretty impressed with what we got going on. So Good morning guys, today is officially the 27th, which means it is drop day. All right, so let's focus, thank you. <laughs> Today's the 27th, which means it is officially drop day. And um, I'm just stressed out because I'm I'm like at work right now. <laughs> I am, I got some stuff to do at work and I also have to just make sure this website is ready and Everything is good to go before 3 p.m. It's currently 11.09 right now, so i um, racing against the clock a little bit, but um, we'll figure it out. This is what I'm working on right now. Um, just doing like a quick little post to just show everyone what we have for sale today. And then um, once that goes up, I've got to create an email to send to everybody. Let them know, send them discount codes, and yeah, then we just make it happen. So, today's gonna be a very busy day, but a good one. <clears throat> I might be late for my own drop. It's three o'clock. That means we are about to go ahead and remove that password. And your online store is open to everyone. Wow. All right, everybody, go get you something good. <laughs> Bow! Bro, this is so cool. You can see how many people are on your freaking store right now. That's so freaking cool, bro. Oh my gosh. We got Brooklyn, New York in the house, LA. Oh, let's see my phone going on, hold on. Ooh, that's freaky, bro. That's hard. Seven people checking out. Jeez, man. Oh, man. That's nutty. <laughs> Mood board. Real life. Now this 
my first Tinder. Alright y'all. We in Times Square right now. I bought an ad to uh show right here on that screen. Right there. And it's about to pop up in a second, so let me get in, let me get in position. I'm excited. Huh? So up, it's up. Ah, that's crazy. Oh, you can't even see it. Oh, that's hard. That's fire. Woo! 